If you're in the market to buy a new Trek skid steer, this is one of the best options for a compact size Trek skid steer with a lot of features, a lot of horsepower. This is one of the nicest models you can get. I know Bobcat just released a similar style. Their new R version is, is a direct copy off of this machine. I like Cat. I'm, I stand behind the brand and I feel like it's more recognized and just kind of higher quality. They came out with all these innovations in 2013. Bobcat's just now catching up. I like to buy the original. I consider this the original. So you got the heated seat, air ride seat, torsion suspension, backup camera, AC heat, tons of visibility. This is an excellent machine. This has totally changed the game for us doing our landscape installation work. It's a nice size. It's easy to trailer. Uh, we went with the 16 inch wide tracks. They're nice and floaty on the lawns. They don't pack it down. Uh, quick attach is awesome. It's just an overall amazing machine. They're becoming more affordable now too. That's one of the pluses. You can pick up a used one. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about it is that it has a uh, exhaust filter on it. I know the Bobcats are able to do that without having a filtration system, which is very nice, but those are brand new machines and there isn't going to be anything around this price range. This was about a $32,000 machine used with a thousand hours. I bought this machine because we do a lot of lawn installation work. Up until this, we used to use tire machines. And let me tell you, a tire machine will find any soft spot in a lawn. When you're trying to put in a lawn, it will find every single soft spot in the lawn. It's terrible. It's the wrong machine to use. If that's all you have, I mean, I would say go ahead and do it, but your customers will probably end up suing you. I bought this thing way too late in the game. I learned that the hard way. I mean, yeah, I had a lot of lawns that didn't have soft spots, so we didn't sink. I got them in, they came in good. No big deal. But I had a few where like the power line ditch wasn't settled at all. The sewer ditch wasn't settled. The water line, the electric line ditch wasn't settled. All the utility ditch, ditch wasn't packed, had it settled, and the tires will find a low spot in them, and there's times where you got to track right between two houses, and you got to follow the exact same track, like, over and over, and if you're in a tire machine, you're just going to pack it, you're going to pack it, track machine is where it's at for lawn installation work. That's why we bought it. So last year, had it all year, and COVID, blah, blah, blah. You know, used it five times. So I still haven't really got to like, get the full benefit of having this machine yet. This year, we got a whole new, we got a whole new plan. We've already done a ton of quotes. We've already done, had a lot of interest. I think everyone from last year that put their jobs on hold are carrying over into this year. Everybody's ramped up, everybody's ready to go. They're calling me early, they want the stuff done. It's all come down to this year, seriously. It's crazy, it is crazy.
of the best parts about this smaller machine is it keeps you at a weight class where you don't need a CDL class A. If you got a 289 or a 299, you'd need a big enough trailer with a GVW high enough, which would put you over 26,001 pounds. So then you're in the class A CDL range. So this is a nice size for what we do. It works perfect. I highly recommend it. Getting it for your landscape company. If you need something bigger, then you're looking at a whole nother animal.